Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Adventure. Um, there has been a lot of stuff added in to this world um, that I've just done, and nothing to the village, so don't worry about that. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly, you know, this stuff, you know, you already know about. Um, I'm just gonna go into the town hall for a second, and um, a second, yeah, fast, and then I'll just put it on normal there we go get my frames up a little higher while I'm recording um so I put a whole bunch of things on the, t the things to do to do list um so we have build docks build farm tower which I'll explain that in a second um build small houses build enchanters build blacksmiths build library build weed farm and then question mark I don't know anything else to put there and I wanted to you know have a sign there so question mark um so the docks are going to be over here, um, where I'm pointing, where like where the wheat farm is now. There'll be like docks going out, and like cactus. I put cactus there so I could grow that. Um, there'll be docks that go out, and then yes, yeah, so we'll have this big awesome area. And the mountains look really cool right now too. Um, the farm tower. Um, there's no way to really explain it other than if you know who Ant Venom is on YouTube, he has a tower and it's got like animals on each level of it um, on his like peaceful peaceful map world um, actually quickly here's my village prep world we'll be building this building today um, which is the enchanters but basically um, it'll be a big like building that goes up like this I'm just gonna build a really really mini version um, so just imagine this, but like with more space in between each of the logs. And then those there's gonna be like a level. And just for the sake of it, I'll put nether fence. But on each of the levels, there'll be animals, so then this would be cows or something, and then you go up another couple of floors or whatever, and then you put another thing like this. So that's basically what a farm tower is. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so it's basically just a big tower, like a gigantic tower that would have all the animals on it. And then like stairs on the side so I could go up or like a ladder or something to each level. And then go and slaughter all the animals or shear the sheep or whatever. So that's basically a mini version of the farm tower. So that's, that's, uh, that's what that is. Um, and then small houses right behind the enchanters, like where the mountain is over there. There's going to be a whole bunch of like small houses built into like the mountain, and then like just a whole bunch of tiny ones that you see in like the villages, like actual villages, like the tiny houses. So if you know what I'm talking about, that's cool. We're going to build an, en an enchanters today, which will have like bookshelves and stuff. So we might take the ones that are over here. You can see like the bookshelves right there. And the chanting table might take that. Uh, blacksmiths, library, and wheat farm are just sort of you know, straightforward. Uh, we'll just have like a basic wheat farm going on. So that's, that's basically it. So um, I got a comment, and because um, if you hear me ask the same question on like more than one video, and you're like, "What the heck?" I like left a response to that question. Um, that's because I record basically all in like one day. So I record, mo well, Mondays and Tuesdays I record, and then the videos go up on, like, other days. So, yeah, if you, um, like, hear me ask again, like, what can I trade for, like, spawning in a, like, getting in a villager spawn egg or whatever, um, yeah, that's why, or I ask the same question again, it's because... Um, I haven't actually heard the response yet because I haven't uploaded the previous video yet. So that's basically, that's why, if that makes any sense. So here is the record store. I added in some note blocks and then put in this over here. Got a whole bunch of records. If you're like, how the heck did you get all these records? My God. Um, but um, yeah, I'll show you in a second. So I put a whole bunch of note blocks around, which is pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Here's Betty's Potions Plus. <laughs> It's it's uh it's pretty nice looking it's pretty nice. So up here we got basic sort of supplies and then like the discount supplies, so like really basic swiftness, healing, water bottles, that kind of stuff. 
Um, put some mushrooms down too, which is nice. Um, here's like better potion supplies, like gunpowder, and then some more nether wart, and then magma cream, fermented spider eyes, glistering melon, that sort of stuff goes down here. And then here's the potions plus, and that's like better potions, so like instant health too, and then like regeneration, uh, splash potions of swiftness, potion of swiftness, fire resistance, poison, and instant damage. You'll see why I use instant damage in a second. And then this is where Betty lives. She's like right, right there. I'm just gonna take that. So I'm basically growing mushrooms because I need them for fermented spider eyes. If you're wondering. Because that's how you get um, instant damage potions. So I've enchanted a lot of things. And if you're wondering how, I'll show you guys quickly. Um, so I'll just show you what I've enchanted. I have a new sword. Um, I'm not sure if this is a new pick or not. Um, this, this is all the same here. This is just a silk that I've been carrying around for a while. This is my sword that I had before, last episode. This, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new. But it's a pretty good pick. Um, and then here, I wanted, I, I've always wanted an enchanted golden sword just to look at. I don't want to actually ever use it, but I want to look at it. So it's got fire aspect and bane of arthropods. And this thing sucks. This time sword I'm using now, Bane of Arthropods 4 and Knockback 2, it's so bad. Um, so yeah, here is my pick that I was probably, it might have been using last episode. Um, if not, anyway, it was a new pick, used the whole thing, that's so how much mining and stuff I've done. Um, got a whole bunch more diamonds as well, and then some more, a whole bunch of gold and stuff that I just decided to turn into blocks to put in here. Then the rest I just sort of stacked in here. Um, that I couldn't turn into blocks. And then here are my books, my book and quill and stuff. Here's my, f I enchanted this, got a fortune three pick, so that is awesome. Um, that's, that, that came in handy, because you know how I had four blocks, or, um, yeah, four blocks of um, emerald ore? Yeah, turned that into 14. 14. <laughs> that's almost getting, like, four from every single thing. That's how good this, like, is well that's how lucky I got sort of um, I got feather falling four boots and I only do for armor I'm only doing iron so I have like protection and stuff because there's such a great chance if I do diamond that I'm gonna mess up and then get a bad pair of boots and then yeah so I have feather falling iron boots and then just fire protection helmet got a new shovel so that's that's pretty good got a new axe that's also pretty good Look at this bow. <laughs> it's like the best bow on the planet. And then I also have this one. So, yeah, and then here are my splash potions that I have left. I had like, I had nine in here, but I only have two left. And I'll show you why in a second. So let's go over here. Um, just want to show you guys quickly. Because this is sort of like an update video of what I've done. Just because I've had like, like a week of not recording and stuff. That's how many videos I made last week. Just like four or something that I had to upload. That I'm still uploading. Um, so yeah, I have an enter chest here as well. Um, why am I down here actually? I don't know. Why did I go down here? Wrong spot. I'm getting old and feeble, guys. I'm so old right now, my god. I'm in high school. I'm so old. Um, yeah, so if we go down here. Now, I think, I think now you're starting to go, uh... Because we had a, um, skeleton spawner, which is, you know, I have a lot of arrows here, so, you know, now you're starting to clue in. Um, hopefully. So, let's not jump to any conclusions about you. Um, so if we go down here, place some torches on the way, so it's, it's pretty bright with some torches there. I'll have to harvest this gravel, but I don't have... Uh, well, I don't want to right now. Um, so... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this... Um, you know... Um, we're pretty stocked on stuff. This is actually more stuff than I remember. But yeah, we have a trap now. And, you know, it works works fairly well. It's not as fast as this other one I have, though. And you'll see in a second. That's much faster, though. The way I did this, actually, I'll show you guys, because this is actually, I might do a tutorial on this. I like this design. 
Um, I have not really seen a lot of other people do this design before, and I'm kind of actually uh, shocked nobody uses this. But I think it's I think it's a really good design. Um, we're not gonna be able to see through there, so um, actually, yeah, I'm on peaceful mode, so we should be okay. Uh, I'll change it back in a second, just so I can show you guys, so I don't die while showing you. Um, so basically, water is rushing forward, and I don't have water in the corner for two reasons. Oh God, they're actually spawning. Oh yeah, that's a SMP glitch, I think. Um, so, if I put water there, the whole thing will turn into still water, so that's a problem. Um, the other problem, well, the other reason is so that they can also spawn on here. Ow! That doesn't even make sense. I want peaceful mode. This sucks. So, anyway, and then they go, they get shuffled into this area, and then they drop down here. I'll show you. So they go through here, and now they're in this area, and then they get shuffled into here. Oh crap, and I really... do not want to die. Alright. I think there's only... Oh god. I tried to play Swan. <laughs> oh god, where are we? We're going up so slowly, my god. I'm gonna drown. We've gotta do this, it's gotta be done. The heck? Okay, so anyway, that's how that works. Um, tried to place water to break my fall, but apparently I didn't die anyway. I'm not even using feather falling boots. That's pretty, pretty intense. And, um, yeah, so right after I get this water back, I will show you, um, where my other one is. Okay, so, um, we're at the portal room in our house. So just to give you an idea of where we are, um, I put some netherrack around here, and I've actually gotten some zombie pigmen uh, spawning through here, so that's kind of cool. I think it, I'm not sure if they actually need netherrack to be around the portal for that to happen. I think it's just chance or whatever that you get one. But um, if you're like, where the heck is is this portal? I don't remember this. Um, doing the math, um, there's a there's the other portal that we had before, like the main one. If I run over and go through this one, I'll show you here quickly. Um, this is going to blow your mind, which by the way, I'm not on peaceful mode anymore. Okay? Because I know a lot of people are probably like, Oh, you're on peaceful mode, you suck. So, oh jeez. I hate those guys. Ghasts suck. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a fast travel way. Like, this is a way to fast travel. I need to get out of here too before this gas kills me. Okay. Shut up. I can't even see you. So it's a way to fast travel from house to house. So that's kind of cool because um, traveling one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So yeah, I was able to come up with the coordinates and I put this here and it works. So that's kind of cool. Um, gonna have to eat these two apples too. I didn't bring any meat with me, even though I have a stinking farm now. But oh, and I also have two pieces of meat in there. I think so that should be okay. That's for like emergencies only. Um, so if we go down here, and then we go right up here. And over this way. Oh, yes. Look at this thing. So amazing. Now, I do have a lot of, like, redstone wiring on the top of this. And pistons and stuff. Here, I'll show you. Um, none of this works right now, because there's supposed to be lava that flows, but it doesn't work. And in fact, it screwed everything up. So I had to fix all that. Um, if you're still confused as to what this is... It's a blaze farm spawner. So if we go... Oh crap, they're going to start spawning here too. Well, that block there needs to be put back. Is it going to spawn? 
The second I go in, it's gonna spawn. I know it. Yeah. See. So they get they if they land, as you can see, there's pressure plates. They land on the pressure plate. The piston will be activated because of the repeater hitting the block underneath the piston. The piston will be activated and push them down into another area that has um, the same sort of setup and it pushes them down into a single hole. All I have to do is sort of... Well, I put a block here because I actually had a... Um, I need to turn this down. You guys are going to go deaf. I actually had um, one of these guys glitch through here and then he started killing me and I almost died. I had like half heart health left so I put a block right here normally just to make sure. Open up F3 and I just sort of wait so right now there's probably actually only like a couple of them. Yeah, there's there's a couple in there. Not bad, not bad. Um, all I have to do, I'll show you quickly. I press this, and then I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I basically count. Normally I count to 15, but I was a little thrown off. I, um, I was snapping at the same time. It threw me off a little. But basically, I just count to 16, I press the button. Once they start getting hurt, I count to 16, I press the button again. That ends up counting to 20, and then all it really is is just one hit. Or instead of having to punch them, because it's like one or two hits on them, I just used an, inst an instant potion of harming, and I get a whole bunch of XP. I go into my chest here, I can get some iron, which I... Crap, I did not want to place a sign there. No, thank you. Um... So I stuff some iron in here, and then all I have to do is enchant, and that's basically that. So um, yeah, let's get started on um, the enchanters in the village. Alright, so um, I've got the spot marked out of where I'm going to put this. So we have the lot here is sold to the enchanters, the arcane enchanters. Um, if you play uh, Skyrim and stuff, there's arcane enchanters and stuff. So anyway, I told you earlier about, like, I showed you the discs. I never explained how I got them. So basically, I have my ghetto trap up here. Um, I get a skeleton in one of these, so, you know, they'll get stuck in this. They can't jump out. They're stuck. Um, which, by the way, I also have another bow here that I enchanted, which is pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, so, and then, because a creeper blew up and destroyed my other piston, I just... You know, have a block here, and then I get a creeper to get stuck in here, and I stand behind the creeper, and the skeleton tries to shoot me, but he ends up hitting the creeper. And then when the the creeper dies, um, the creeper drops a disc because the skeleton killed him. So that's that's how that works. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a little, uh, hopefully, a little tiny uh, mini montage of me building this building. So uh, yeah, let's get started.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, mini montage. And uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting to build. It required quite a bit of wood. I think, oh, I'm almost completely out. Dropped down a huge tree over there. Dropped down all my trees over there. Dropped down a couple over there. And um, yeah, we just had enough. So I'm gonna put some glass blocks here. I'm not sure if I have any glass blocks anywhere. No, I don't think I do, which sort of sucks. No, I don't think I have any glass blocks right now. Um, also with the blaze, I'm using that in the furnaces. No, I just thought I'd put that out there because it works a lot better. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I'm on peaceful. That would probably explain why my hunger wasn't going now. That's weird. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm just going to put some glass blocks here, put a door. Um, I just need two more panes here, and I'm going to put in the bookshelves, because I haven't done that yet. And I'll put some um, redstone lamps on the ceiling, and I will see you guys next episode. I'm General Awesome, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.